So here is a GIF in front of you. What is going on in this GIF? You can see that if in one body there is a motion which is going on like in this speed and another one there is a motion is going to be like in this speed. Okay. So yes, earlier the motion which is seen at this point at the original stage at this particular stage it is a very slow one and later on the motion has been speed up with a double of its speed so what this speeding up is called as what the speeding up called as if you all are playing a tug of war game tug of war you all know there is a rope and between you there are three people at this round three people or more than three people are there on either side okay they try to pull the rope at their waist and what the result will be what will be the result final result of them any idea what will be the final result guess it down guys the velocity of that object will going to reduce why because there is a force and there is an opposite force if opposite force applied on an object then definitely its speed will going to reduce but if a force is applied on this side and i have increased the i have applied another force in the same direction and you can see the resultant force on that particular object in which it is moving is in the same direction of its motion then the object will going to be speed up okay so i can say that there is a increase in its acceleration object will going to accelerate in such situation so this is actually an acceleration if velocity of an object increases if or with uh, the resultant force applied on it in the same direction then we can say that object is speeding up but if the force which is applied on this object is in opposite direction Okay, so the object will going to slows down. Very simple concept is as we know that much of things. For example, say this. In this particular concept, we have seen the uh, object, the car, which is going to be slows down. Why this car is slowing down? Because there is a friction on the road. Road is applying a friction. The surface of road is applying a friction on this body. In its wheels, in its tires. All right so what is the effect of these type of forces any idea guys whenever the car wheels try to rotate there will be an opposite there will be a force in opposite direction and this opposite direction force is applied with the help of brakes applied so if we apply a brake on the car it will going to oppose the motion of these wheels and definitely there is a friction applied in the opposite direction that will going to slow it down that's why the car goes slowing so slowly okay so there are number of things that you need to understand in speeding up and slowing down there is a lot more concepts like if you have ever seen in a car up till now we have studied two types of laws of motion two laws of motion in which first law of newton's first law of motion says that an object in state of rest rest will continue to be in its state of rest or i can say state of motion state of rest okay i should say an object in its state of rest or motion an object in its state of rest or motion will continue continue to its state until and unless until and any external force 
is applied to it. If there is an applied external force on it, applied to it. Okay, an object in its state of rest or in motion will continue to its state of uh, in its state until or unless there is an external force applied to it. Okay, so yes, this is the first law. What is the second law? For the acceleration applied in any object is directly proportional to the force applied and inversely proportional to the mass of that object. Okay, so there are two types of things that has been applied. But what this acceleration meant about? That's the second law of motion. A is equals to F over M. So, if you notice what is going on, if acceleration is increased, then force will definitely be going to increase. Okay, but force will increase, that's correct. That means applied external force or unbalanced force will going to result in, will going to result in, any guy, any idea guys? The force applied on any object, I mean the say acceleration, is caused due to, acceleration so present in it, is caused due to what? Yes, acceleration so caused will occur due to force applied, any unbalanced force applied on it. So, if there is an acceleration applied on a body, is directly proportional to the unbalanced force then definitely there should be a vector concept which is coming up so if the direction of acceleration and force applied is same then the object will going to speed up if the direction of acceleration and force applied are opposite to each other then we can say that i am writing it here guys if mark it as a point if acceleration and force are in same direction, then it is a concept of speeding up. I'm just marking as a heading. Then that's a concept of speeding up. There will be a speeding up of car. Or any vehicle or anything which is applied with the, that force okay but if acceleration and force are opposite direction in opposite direction then the vehicle will going to slow down okay so if suppose there is a car which is moving in this direction suddenly one more car is applying a force on it okay will another car is going to be bounded with it with some kind of rope then it will going to speed up that car okay suppose for one more example if i am riding a cycle i am just pedaling my uh, pedaling uh, in the front direction and wheels are also rotating in the same direction Suddenly, if my cycle is going down due to a slope, I need to just suppose I am at a slope right now. So, if there is a slope, I am riding a cycle in this, like this. There you go. Yes, it's my cycle. Cycle. Okay. So, if cycle is going on a uh, particular, uh, uh, I can say, slope, then the pedals of that particular cycle, all the pedals of that cycle will going to, all the pedals of that cycle will going to, will, uh, pedalings are doing at the opposite, in the front direction, but your cycle will going to move in opposite direction. Why so? Because there is a slope, there is acceleration due to gravity. If acceleration due to gravity will going to drag you downwards and your pedaling will going to force you upward. So, definitely your cycle will going to slow down. But if, another case, if in the slope, the cycle is going downward. The cycle is going downward. That's my carrier. Okay, that's my cycle. Okay. 
if my cycle is going downward my pedaling my force is applied on the cycle in the downward direction and similarly what will happen the acceleration due to gravity will going to pull my cycle down downwards so, so at that moment the acceleration due to gravity and the force applied by me both are in same direction so definitely my cycle will going to speed up again recalling everything velocity of the object increases that is it accelerates if the resultant force is in the same direction as the velocity that is speeding up next is the velocity of the object decreases or it decelerates if the resultant force is in the opposite direction to its velocity with this note let's practice a question and try to sort the solution for it okay thank you and the question is given as like this a constant force was used to accelerate a trolley from rest okay there is a trolley constant force was used to ex uh, accelerate a trolley from rest there is some vehicle attached to it so uh, acceleration of the trolley was a is given 0.60 meter per sec square and mass of uh, 0.5 kg so all right a constant force was used to accelerate a trolley from the rest the acceleration of the trolley was 6.60 meter per sec square a mass of 0.5 kg was then fixed onto the trolley mass of 0.5 kg is fixed on the trolley and the same force as before gave it an acceleration of 0.48 see this is my first acceleration and this is my second acceleration second acceleration is equals to 0.48 meter per sec square after applying a mass of 0.5 kg all right let us assume the mass of trolley i have marked here let the mass of trolley n and force force is same and both the situation is equals to f okay so i can say my a1 is equals to f upon m okay acceleration is f upon m okay and acceleration a2 is equals to f upon m plus point y okay so here force is same so let's find the value force is same in both the cases so i can say f is equals to a1 m and equals to a2 m plus 0.5 okay so force is same i am not marking force at here okay so what are the values that i do have i know the value of a1 a1 is equivalent to 0 0.60 0 0.6 into m equals to um, 0.48 0.48 into m plus 0.48 into 5 so what will be the value of 0.48 into 5 0.48 into 5 that is 2.4 okay point four. so the value which is coming up is question which is coming up the mass let's find out the mass first this is equals to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.48 into m okay to 2.4 so m is equals to 6 minus 0.48 how much will be the value 6 minus 0 0.8 0 0.6 sorry 0 0.6 minus 0 0.48 0 0.2 1.2 0.12 0 0.12 so mass will be equals to 2.5 upon 0.12 so that will be 
around two value will be come up. The value is two point five on twenty point eight three is the correct answer. Twenty point eight three kilograms is the mass now. Okay, so guys, what do we have? Explain why the acceleration in the second case was less than before. Acceleration in the second case was less because mass has been increased from by twenty plus point five. The last mass M one is for twenty point eight three and M two that is M plus point five that will be equals to twenty point twenty one point three three. So, if mass is higher, acceleration will be lower. We know that. We know the formula that acceleration is directly proportional to force, but inversely proportional to mass. If mass in first case is lower, then acceleration will be higher. If mass in uh, second case is higher, acceleration will be lower. As simple as that. This is how we can sort the equation according to our requirement. We can find. if we need to speed up or we need to slow down the object and understand it different uh, respective concepts we will going to continue in my next lecture the concept related to you can say mass and weight which is a very important thing that you need to know that you need to understand all right so with this note i need to end up the lecture thank you guys see you in my next lecture yes one more thing i need to tell you so sorry keep if in case you got a question that the trolley is suddenly broke out and its upward face has lost it has been fallen down what will be the effect on its trolley now now you will ask ma'am well, how much mass has been lost from that trolley suppose the mass of 5 kg has been lost mass of 5 kg has been lost so now overall mass was mass of trolley which has kept 0.5 kg that has already been lost so new mass will be come up to be 20.83 minus 5 so that will be 15.83 kg so yes guys if the mass of 15.83 kg is lost we can definitely say that the mass has lesser down so acceleration will be higher if the vehicle is less vehicle is less or vehicle is uh, light it is not possessing a higher mass it will definitely will going to will definitely will going to give a larger acceleration okay so this is all thank you guys see you in my next lecture while we continue another concept thank you